to explain what gain of function research is and what the concerns around that are. And is that worth the potential risk? Gain of function in a very simplistic way is are we doing anything to a microbe that would enhance its ability to be transmitted or to cause serious illness or death? Okay, so we're enhancing it. We're making it worse. The reason you'd even consider doing that, one, is you're a bad guy and you have a bioterrorism or bioattack program you want to do and want to launch it, okay? That's yeah. the kind of thing we'd surely not like to have happen. If you think back on what's the one of the most famous books in all of infectious diseases, The Hot Zone by Richard Preston. That was a book about an outbreak of an Ebola virus in Ruston, Virginia, with the monkeys that were there, part of a large program uh, for that. And, and it spread quickly through the entire facility and killed all these monkeys. Obviously, it was respiratory transmitted, okay? Well, historically, Ebola viruses have always been thought of being a body fluid contact. You know, you got to have contact with the blood, you got to touch something, you know, et cetera. But we've had a series of outbreaks in laboratories where lab animals, monkeys, basically have been infected when the nearest animal to them were, you know, 34, 30 to 40 feet away. So today in the lab, if we had a BSL-4, the most highest containment that had multiple barriers for this virus ever getting out, I would really welcome the opportunity to know in our research, can we show that these viruses can be made to be aerosol transmitted? And if they can, man, that ought to accelerate a whole new area of research about the vaccines, about how to control it, et cetera. So do I want that done anything short of a high, high containment situation? No.